So here we are again. It's the solstice. Another year has gone by and uh, let's just have a look what's going on. The sun's just peeking over those uh, Monterey pines. It's midday so there you go low sun but luckily the uh, the panels the other side of the meadow are getting some sun and as you can see these panels are in shade but those panels there which are on a grid tie are getting some sun I wouldn't say it's brilliant but there's a bit on them it's been absolutely miserable for the last six weeks since the start of November we've had just grey and wet and no wind and if you look back to last November uh, I think it was on one of the videos saying the same thing so November seems to be just a miserable time so let's go and have a look what else is going on so those panels up on the bank that we we're looking at a moment ago there we go 200 watts it's not a lot but it's very hazy sunshine but it just contributes and the other one There we go, that's the uh, the panels on the wall of the workshop, 123 watts. There we are, again midday, we're charging at 30 amps into the uh, batteries from the solar only, no wind again and because we've had very little generation comparatively speaking uh, we've had to use the backup charger quite a lot but then that's what it's for yeah. with these battery systems the uh, backup charger is the most important bit of kit let's just have a look at the state of charge of the batteries And there we are. We're just in the white, but it's on the red side of it. So um, uh, it's a good job we're using the backup charger. And this is the next project. I'm just making an axle here. And that there is just steel on steel. And it doesn't matter if it's steel on steel because it's not going to move very far. This is for another mobile array. But I'm hoping to have the panels at maybe two and a half metres up. I've got a place for them that will work this time of the year. It's quite difficult sighting panels. What with length of wiring and position and shade from other things. It's alright if you don't have trees or other buildings, but if you like trees and the habitat value and the shade and all those sorts of things, then and the carbon capture, then it makes solar panels a bit more difficult. And I don't like putting them on roofs. You can't get to them very easily. Um, you can't clean them very easily, all those sorts of things. But uh, this this hopefully will make a difference. I'll put five panels on this with a grid tie. And here's the other end of it. There's a hole there. Just there. And I'll just drop a pin through. 
and it's just uh, a three inch tube welded on the inside of that rim. That work. And some of you might be wondering why I haven't done any videos on this solar system since about February or March last year. Well, it would be a bit like showing off really, because it's just all been working very well. And uh, now we've got the diverter fitted, we've been running the immersion heater, heating hot water, every day, uh, at no cost. So that's why I didn't do any more videos, because it would be rather tedious and boring going, oh it's working brilliant again. Anyway, let's look forward to the days drawing out and things getting drier.